Today we're opening never before seen blister packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a couple of never before seen blister packs. It's very cool three pack first edition blister of Invasion of Chaos and two pack first edition Magician's Force blister. But that's not all. We have like 30 total old packs to open. A few sprinkled in that are pretty cool like Rage of Raw that we can pull the Ghost Rare. But first we have a giveaway. I will be giving away this first edition Blazing Vortex booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite pack that we opened today. I mean, there's a lot of great options, but I figure Magician's Force and Invasion of Chaos are probably fan favorites. Before we get into it, we have a word from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by... Friends and Dragons is a free-to-play strategy-based mobile RPG that is available on the App Store and Google Play. This game combines elements of hero collection, strategy, and puzzler gameplay in a rich fantasy world. The gameplay in Friends and Dragons is very strategic. You can only move one hero per turn, but that has the ability to redirect other heroes based on where you strategically path your chosen hero. Not only is there 150 heroes to collect, but you can also upgrade those heroes by equipping items and upgrading their skills. What sets this game apart is its unique co-op. In order to access this game's full potential, you need to join a guild. You can chat and team up with other players in the guild in order to take on tough challenges. If you want to do that with me, join my guild, the Ruxanites, and let's play a few dungeons together. Friends and Dragons also has special limited events that you can participate in. For example, unlock the Chase the Dragon event. Upon completing the tutorial, a unique one-time event unlocks for all new players. Fight through increasingly difficult dungeons and defeat hordes of orcs. You can get a valuable 4-star summoning scroll at the end. You have 7 days to complete, fight Bloodfang and the evil Red Dragon Brood. And if you can't get enough of the Friends and Dragons strategy, join their Discord server to get some helpful tips and insight. Download Friends and Dragons with my link in the description. And get a special bonus of 1 free summon, daily energy potions, and gold for free, plus an exclusive offer if you use my link in the description only. So go ahead and try it out. If you guys are interested, it does support the channel if you support the sponsors, so I appreciate if you guys do that. Thanks again to Friends and Dragons for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, let's get into the video. If you guys want to check out that link down below from the sponsor, I've actually been playing the game Friends and Dragons. It's been a lot of fun, to be honest. I'm not even like, I'm not even kidding. I've played the game myself personally. I really enjoy it. It's been pretty fun. So if you guys want to go check it out, it's very uh, strategic, which I like about it. Dice, dice. Let's get into the actual opening. Armory call. We've got a Tri Brigade Rugal the Silver Sheller. This is the only super rare printing of this card. So that's actually pretty cool. Should all schism. There's a good one. Area of the Water Charmer Gentle, and, oh yeah, you get two Ultras, I forgot, Gizmek Kaku, very cool, and the Union Driver, so those are four foils in the first pack, that's pretty cool, Rookie Fryer. On to the next pack, let's go into a Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw, here we go, can we get the Ghost Rare, we have a Left Arm Offering, Holding Arms, Mech Lord Emperor Skiel, Chaos Infinity, and a Mound of the Bound Creator. It is bound to pull something good. Let's do a Power of the Duelist First Edition Hobby Pack. It's a little dense on the bottom, so I think this is a good one to open up for sure. So let's see if we can get that ultimate rare. Uh, you know, the, the Dark Neos, of course. You know, there's so many good ones. Of course, the the Flare Neos, I think is what the name is. I was going to say Flare Scarab, but it's a different card. I think it's also in here. Common Soul. We got a Saber Saurus. Love that guy. The Royal Writ of Taxation. Royal Writ. Royal Writ. That is just difficult to say for me for some reason. Chrysalis Dolphin. We got a Black Terra. Flying Saucer Music. The Paths of Destiny. The Ultimate Tyranno. The Legend himself. Super rare. You love to see it. That's a cool one. We're off to a good start. That's a very cool super rare. Almost all these packs are old packs. I was like trying to like alternate, but like we barely have any super rare packs at this point. Or not super rare. Uh, newer packs. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Dogmaticism. We got the Melfi Puppy. We've got the Uprising. We've got the Goki Power Load Ochre. That's actually a good card. The Infer Noble Knight Captain Roland. Drytron Beta Rastaban. Ooh, Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. Very cool. You love to see that one. Gravedigger Trap Hole is a pretty good card. It's definitely gone down though since the reprint. Ad Emancipator Researcher, another good Ultra. So pretty good pack there. Let's see what our commons will be. The drill bug is cool. And Link Burst. It's time to hop into a Pharaonic Guardian. This one was $3.99 apparently when this was bought, which is pretty cool if you think about it. It's definitely worth more than that now. Let's see if we can get a, a, oh, wow, a common worth more than $3.99 in this pack. So that's a damage card right off the bat. Inside we could get the Trap Dust Shoot. We could get the Metamorphosis. Both of those are over $3.99 themselves. So Gravekeeper's Assailant. We've got a Dark Snake Syndrome. Timidity. Non-aggressive area. Aggression area. I think this is the damage one. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Shape Snatch, a classic. A bow tie with horrible power. It attacks an opponent. 
by controlling others. Can you believe that? The bow tie is the shape snatch. Needle ceiling. Royal keeper. Pyramid energy and... Reckless Greed, I never like using this card. It always feels like you, you we use this card and you're like, oh yeah, that was awesome. I drew two cards. And then you're like, eh, yeah, now I can't draw. All right, let's go back to the Mega 10 packs and see if we can pull something epic because we've done pretty good so far. We haven't pulled anything too crazy. We want that Triple Tactics Talents. Crossout Designator still one of the top cards, even though he kind of fell off a little bit. Tay Stripe, got the Melfi Puppy. XC's Import. Performal Pal Turn Trooper. Another virtual world. That's a Lulu. I think that one's pretty good. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Another good one. And a Tri Brigade Shurag, the Ominous Omen. So another decent card. Anatomy and Spader friends. But nothing too insane yet out of these packs. Okay, we haven't done a Legacy of Darkness in this video. So out of this box, we have not pulled Injection Fairy Lily yet. So that would be pretty cool if we could pull that. Let's see. We have... Oh, wait. Let's do uh, the old trick. We get a Legendary Ocean. Robo Yaru. Fiend Comedian. Why do these feel like super thin for some reason? This is weird. Wolf Axe Wielder. Man, these feel strange. I don't know what it is. Fang Xing Mirror. Patrician of Darkness. Maybe it's because I just play or not played, but you open the older or the newer cards. So the older cards feel weird. Faint Plan. Skull Knight number two. And. Oh, a Dark Balter the Terrible. Super rare. Right off the bat for Legacy of Darkness. That's pretty cool. These definitely feel so much different than the new cards. All right, let's go back to the Rage of Raw. Man, I, I really cannot speak today. I don't know what is going on, but you guys know. It's just a normal problem for me every day. I mean, I do this for a living. still can't talk, but that's okay. Jinzo Returner. We got the Mind Control. We got a Mechlord Army, and we've got a Makura the Destructor. A ratted version. Back to Pharaonic Guardian. So this is some of the... This one seems to have been opened already. So I'm assuming we're not going to get anything. Wait. Why does that look like? Okay, never mind. We're going to pretend like this has not been opened, okay? Maybe it just came open? I don't know. It looks like it has a foil. We're about to find out. Royal Tribute. This is weird. Deslacuda. We got a Gravekeeper's Assailant, which I think is worth a little bit, actually, in first edition. Dark Snake Syndrome. That's a fun card. Call the Mummy. Inpachi. Shape Snatch. The Bowtie added again. Needle Ceiling. And... Question Ultra Rare. Oh my gosh. So uh, I don't know what the deal is. It's a little bit of scuffing on the back, but there was an Ultra Rare in that open pack. So that is definitely, I would say, was not opened at first. And then it just kind of came open on its own. That was strange. We'll take it though. All right. Next up, Power of the Duelist. This one appears to already be sealed. You know, it's still be sealed. We're not going to be opening up any open packs again, hopefully. Let's see if we can pull an Ultimate Rare. There's so many good ones in the set. Ambulance Roid. Decoy Roid. We got the Roids everywhere. Miracle Jurassic Egg, Crop Circles, Crystals Dolphin, the Paths of Destiny, Amulet's Rescue Roid, Contact, and Future Fusion. A very cool, rare, but not the card we're looking for. All right, it is time for one that we have not opened yet. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. Inside, you can pull the Dark Magician Hollow. I think Blue Eyes White Dragon as well. So, could be some pretty cool stuff. They're pretty valuable, actually, even though this isn't a too old of a pack, but... Speed Duel didn't really take off, but these cards will still have some value. Let's see. Black Illusion Ritual and Elegant Egotist. So it's all foils. There's only a two-card pack. Pretty cool to see. Just two supers this time. Back to Rage of Raw. So far, no foils out of these packs. I don't remember where these came from, like, at all. I don't remember if I opened the box or not, but I guess we'll find out. Mechlord Token Sunday. Genzo Jector. And a Mechlord Deflection. But so far, there's not been really much inside of them. Now let's go back to our final Mega 10 pack. Let's pull something amazing. I don't really know what we possibly want besides the top two, but hopefully we'll be surprised with something awesome. Uh, I guess Zeus is in here. Melfi Caddy, Doyon, Diced Dice. We got the Rasen Ryu, Disposable Learner Device, Virtual World Shinshin, very cool. Gravity Controller. I think I might've needed one of these in a deck. Oh, Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. This is a very nice card. Not only a nice uh, secret rare pattern, but also just good. Magician Salvation, very cool. And the Achichi at Ignister. All right, sales pitch. It's pitching it to us. We got the Redeemable Jar. Very creepy card. Still a lot of packs to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this longer or are enjoying this longer old school opening. You know, we got GX in here. We got newer stuff. We got old DM stuff. First edition. We got some on limbs. We got all kinds of stuff. So let's see if we can pull something insane to make, you know, just a special video even more special. All right, fake hero. Black Stego. Cool card. Brainwashing Beam. The Alien Snatch Steel. Alien Hunter. Synthetic Seraphim, Elemental Hero Neos, Orbital Bombardment, D-Spirit, and 
Cyclone Blade. Just a regular rare. The power of the duelist. We start with super. It's been kind of eh since then. Back to Pharaonic Guardian. We have pulled an ultra rare. We have yet to pull any crazy commons. And there's some good ones. Or rares. There's some very good ones in this set. So we're hoping to actually do that in this pack. Yomi Ship. Giant Axe Mummy. Vassal. Teuton Mask. Birdface. Rite of Spirit. Buster Rancher. Poison Mummy. Spirit Reaper. Wait. Oh, that is the last card. I thought there was two more. Spirit Reaper is a very good one. This one's worth a few bucks, I think. Even just as a regular rare, but first edition. Classic first printing of a very strong card later on in the game. Well, right when it came out and then for a while after that. Now let's go into a tournament pack 14. OTS 14. There's some pretty crazy cards in these OTS packs. Let's see if we can get one. Void Ogre Dragon. Cool card. Phantom Knights of Shade Brigandine. Brigandine. And a Parallel Exceed. Okay, I think I actually needed some of these. So that's a very nice super rare. Worth a couple bucks as well. And speaking of OTS, we're going to be having an OTS 18 opening coming up, I think, next week. So get excited about that. I'm pretty excited about it. There's some pretty cool ultimate rares in that set. Brain Control. We got a Mechlord Army. Sun God Unification. Super rare. We finally got one. And then a wild monster appears. It's like Pokemon. A wild monster appears. Okay, we're about halfway through. I think it's time we hop into this Magician's Force 2 pack blister. This one was a little bent up, so I decided let's go ahead and open it. Let's slice this open. It's not going to be painful. It's okay. It's painful. It's very painful. All right, we got it. Two pack blister. We had one of these with one pack, but this time it has two, which is even more special. All right, we'll start with the first first edition pack. Yeah, that's a little bit redundant, but we, it's a little bit of a fat pack. No fat shaming here or pack fat shaming, I should say. Can we get something insane? I don't even know if this is a retail or hobby. Last time they were retail, maybe they're a little bit different on this one. I'd be down for a hobby pack. That'd be pretty crazy. All right, Pineapple Blast. United Resistance. These are big time packs, very expensive. So put your luck in the comments, guys. Let's go. We got a My Body as a Shield. That's a pretty good card. Miracle Restoring. Cool. Sonic Duck. Frontline Base. Physical Double. Cool card. Decayed Commander, and is it the next card? What will we pull? Anti, just an anti. All right, there's the uh, the Skull Servant made it onto the card artwork, which is pretty cool. Nothing too crazy about that one, but still, Magician's Force First Edition. All right, we're going to open up a couple other packs and get back to that second Magician's Force pack before we get into those final Invasion of Chaos, which could be absolutely nuts. That would be pretty fun to pull something big there. Here we go. LOD already pulled a super rare. Let's see what else we can pull. Woodland Sprite. The Dragon's Gunfire. Wingbeat of Dry Dragon. Dragon Manipulator. Troop Dragon. That's a lot of Dragon. We got the Fangxing Mirror. Patrician of Darkness. A Faint Plan. And the Dragon's Bead. That is a lot of dragons in that pack for sure. Okay, let's get back to Pharaonic Guardian. So far, we've gotten a question. And the question was, why was it not sealed? And you see what I did there? But yeah, it was kind of weird. And that was the only foil we've pulled, which is... A little bit odd if you think about it, but we'll take that. It was an ultra rare. Now let's see what we can pull. We've got a Nightmare Horse. Just such a weird card artwork. It's like a mummy, like ghost kind of thing. I don't know. Trap Dust Shoot. We finally pulled an epic common. That's a good one. Okay, we got a Gravekeeper's Curse. Can we get the... Oh, we just uh, Rux and Special the Banner of Courage. Let's see if we can get Metamorphosis. Molten Behemoth. The D-Tribe. Birdface. And... Gora Turtle. Isn't there a Gora Turtle of Illusions? Is there like an upgraded version? First edition, Duelist Revolution. We could get Effect Veiler. We could get Solemn Warning. We could get Pot of Awesome, first edition. These are very expensive cards. This is a loose pack I bought, so the chances are pretty low. But I believe. I believe we can do it, guys. Let's do it like that, just to be safe. Earthquake Giant. They could also get a Ghost right here. Double Cyclone is very cool. Stronghold Guardian. Unihorned Familiar. Elephant. Cool. Flame Veil Fiend. Amazonus Heirloom. That was not where I expected that to be. This, I think, is actually worth a couple of bucks. So that's not too bad. It's a foil. I didn't expect that from a random pack, so we'll take that. All right, back to Power of the Duelist. Then we're going to do the Magician's Force pack. I'm pretty excited about that, to be honest. That's a pretty big one. Hopefully, we can pull something good. Oh, we got a Baby Sarasaurus right off the bat. That's a good card. That's a super rare in the new OTS pack, so that's pretty awesome. All right, we got Jurassic Egg. Alien Skull. We got the Royal Writ of Taxation. I got it that time. Rallus the Starbird. Baby Sarasaurus again. Contact. Chrysalis Dolphin. Ambulance Rescue Roid. And 
Alien mother. Not much that time, but we still have a chunky magician's force pack. Let's go. Let's see if we can pull something amazing. I believe, guys. I don't know about you. This one's very easy to open. It's very interesting. I think it's because it's been in that blister. Okay. Meta silver armor. Roulette barrel. Very cool magician's force card. Pineapple blast. The united resistance. Oh, we rocks a special physical double. We got a decayed commander. These are similar commons than we got last time. Okay. Remove brainwashing. Kaiser Coliseum, a classic. And finally, Cat's Ear Tribe, another rare. No! No more Magician's Force. We do have Invasion of Chaos left and a Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. Will we get an Ultra Rare this time instead of two Supers? We have Gravekeeper Stelle. And Flute of Summoning Dragon. Okay, not that time. Maybe in the future. We actually did open an entire box of OTS Tournament Pack 1, or whatever you call it. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1. So go check that video out if you guys have not seen it. That was a cool one. Uh, I remember it not getting a lot of views compared to normal, so maybe you guys missed that one. It was, it was pretty fun. We got a Mech Lord Emperor. Sun God Unification again, and Cyber Energy Shock. Those are the only supers we got out of those packs. Okay, back to Pharaonic Guardian. It's been a little bit weird with this set, for sure. We got a Trap Dust Shoot. So far, no Metamorphosis. I would love to pull those. Let's go one, two, three, four. We've got a Dark Coffin. Des Lacuda. Ravekeeper's Assailant. Dark Snake Syndrome. Pyramid Energy. Bottomless Shifting Sand. A Man with the Widget. Cabazals. Wandering Mummy. No, why are you wandering? Just be something cool. You don't have to be a wandering mummy. You don't have to do it. OTS 1. The pack that could contain Elemental Hero, Mast Hero, Mast Hero, Dark Law. That card is extremely insane. We used to have a bunch of these and we never got it. No! Performal Pal Monkey Board right at the front. White Sentinel Engine is a cool card, but the Monkey Board himself took the place of our $450 Dark Law, unfortunately. All right, that's okay. We still have Power of the Duelist. We still have Invasion of Chaos, Pharaonic Guardian, Legacy of Darkness. We have OTS 15. There's a lot of good stuff left. Don't worry. Don't worry. Here we go. Alien Mother. At it again. Alien Hunter. Brainwashing Beam. Miracle Jurassic Egg. Mausoleum of the Emperor. Alien Gray. Fossil Excavation. Viacroid Connection Zone. Destiny Hero Fear Monger. And Elemental Hero Dark Neos. This is the Ultra version, but this is still the cover card of the set. Let's check it out. That is an amazing pull. Let's go. Epic pull after all these packs. Woo, I don't know what that's worth, but I know it's awesome either way. All right, that was pretty awesome. Now it's time to pull, what is it, a last turn, I think, is the cover card for this set, which is kind of weird. So we got to pull a last turn Ultra Rare. Let's do it. Back-to-back -back cover cards, then we pull the Hell Palmer out of Pharaonic Guardian. I believe that we can do this. Okay, Elemental Hero Dark Neos. That's really cool. Woodland Sprite. We didn't get the Dark Law, but we got the Dark Neos. We have the Dragon's Gunfire. We meet a giant dragon. Life Absorbing Machine. Patrician of Darkness. A Faint Plan. Woo, we just got hit with a burp. Smoke Grenade of the Thief. This is still worth a little bit even after the reprint. Skull Knight number two and... Magic Reflector. No, just a rare. All right, one more Pharaonic Guardian. Then we're cracking open that Invasion of Chaos blister pack with three packs inside. Whew, that's going to be a big one. Let's go. Two, three, four. Let's do this. Yomi Ship. Can we pull something insane? Giant Axe Mummy. Gravekeeper's Vassal. Teuton Mask. Gravekeeper's Guard. Hieroglyph Lithograph. Reversal quiz. We got the uh, the question, but now we're getting reversal quiz. Cry you well and Book of Moon, one of the best rares in the set. Not a foil, but this is a very awesome card. The original print of Book of Moon. There's been a hundred prints since then. All right, we saw four other packs plus this awesome blister. Let's check it out. It was repackaged. It used to be $11.97. Just crazy because it's probably like $900 worth of packs in here now, which is just nuts. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know what loose Vision accounts are, but they're a lot. Let's see if we can get something amazing in here. Let's go. Three first edition Invasion of Chaos. Can we pull the Black Luster Soul? Like, we went on the hunt for the Unlimited for so long. We've pulled two since then. If we got the first edition, it would be insane. I would love that. Let's start off with the first one. We're going to mix the other two in with our last four packs. 
Obviously, Chaos Ember Dragon is huge as well. Demok would be amazing. I mean, basically any, like, foils out here would be awesome. Gora Turtle of Illusion. I think we pulled something out of our last one. Wasn't, like, a Big Burn or something like that? Jade Insect Whistle. We got a Smashing Ground, the original first edition print. Sacred Crane. This was a light you had to run with Chaos sometimes. It was not very good. Fenrir. Very cool. Crimson Ninja. We got a Griffin's Feather Duster. Inferno. And finally... Curse of Darkness, a regular rare to start it off. Okay, that's all right. We still got time. We have OTS 15. What will be inside? I don't really remember what was in the set, but I definitely opened some of it. Let's see. We have Arm Dragon levels. Oh, was, this is the one with the with the Arm Dragon guy, isn't it? Try right. And Dogmatic of Punishment. Okay, that's a very good super rare to pull. That's a pretty good version. We'll take that. There's now a secret, so it's probably not as good anymore from the 10, but still pretty awesome pull. Still five packs remaining. Let's go with Power of the Duelist first because we've had a big pull already. This one's a little bent up, so definitely need to open this one. Wow, this is a this pack has had it's seen better days for sure. Okay. Like maybe right when it was printed was better days. <laughs> Let's go to the Fearmonger. Can we pull an ultimate rare? We already pulled an epic ultra rare. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare. Sabersaurus, the Black Stego, Defender, Blade Master. A lot of Destiny heroes in a row. That was three in a row. Fearmonger. Paths of Destiny. Orbital Bombardment. Wonder Garage. And... Ultimate Rare! Ultimate Tyranno. So we start with the Super Rare version and end with the Ultimate version. I feel like I pulled this Ultimate version like five times. It's a cool looking one though, for sure. It definitely looks awesome. We're taking that Ultimate Rare in the final Power of the Duelist pack though. All right, that was a pretty good pull. Let's go to our second Invasion of Chaos pack. Can we really one-up that pull? Can we get something epic out of here? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Balloon Lizard. The Chaos Greed. I like Chaos. I like that. It's a good sign, guys. It's a good sign. Thing in the Crater. Energy Drain. Burning Algae. Ojama Black. He made, he made his way into the first edition pack. Blasting the Ruins. Neo Bug in 1800. Not bad. And. Dark Mirror Force Ultra Rare. We are taking that. It's off centered. It's not the best Ultra Rare. It's probably one of the worst, actually. But it's iconic because it is Mirror Force. But, you know, the bad version. <laughs> Very cool. And it's got a little bit of stuff on the foil. Probably not great candidate because look at this i mean yeah that is pretty rough still awesome to get an actual foil out of this blister though all right we still have hope let's go into legacy of darkness pulls have been pretty good today we've had some pretty good ones nothing like absolutely insane but definitely some solid stuff let's see if legacy of darkness can change that with an injection fairy lily here we go dragon dwelling in the cave spirit invitation twin-headed wolf bubble crash the winged minion burst breath Frontier Wise Man, Super Rejuvenation, and the Fusion Sword Murasame Blade. We have pulled the, Mr. Mur the, min 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 the Murasame Blade many a time. All right, final two packs, Pharaonic Guardian. Let's see what you can do. We've pulled one foil, right? Only one, and it was it like opened already, so we'll see if we can break that streak. Let's see if this sealed pack can actually have a good pull. Metamorphosis, still haven't seen that, so let's go. Dark Snake Syndrome. Timidity. Non-aggression area. Mucus Yolk. That sounds kind of gross. Needle Ceiling. The Royal Keeper. The Pyramid Energy. Get a little nervous here. Bottomless Shifting Sand, guys. Oh, and a secret rare! Lava Golem! Whoa, I didn't even realize that was the last card! Oh, a secret rare in the final Pharaonic Guardian pack! How does this look? The centering is definitely a little bit shifted towards the left side, but oh my goodness, that is nice foil. I'm actually grading a couple of these, I think. Wow, that, oh, that back's pretty clean, too. Secret rare, first edition, Lava Golem. All right, this turned into a pretty cool opening. This opening's kind of started to heat up. We got Ultimate Rare, Secret Rares, Ultra Rare, some old packs. Can we finish it off with something insane out of first edition Invasion of Chaos? If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more stuff like this. Just hit that notification bell if you guys want to. You know, a lot of you guys do not have that on. So if you guys would do that, you know, you know immediately when I post my videos, which is awesome for me. So I would love if you guys did that. Also, if you want to support the channel, make sure to check out my TCG player and eBay affiliate links down below. If you guys buy anything there, it'll support the channel. So let's get into this final pack. 
I want to pull the Blackluster Soldier. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. Chaos Green. Thing in the Crater. The Energy Drain. Chaos Sorcerer First Edition. That's still really cool to see, even as a common. I don't know how this card was a common. It makes no sense. That should have been a super rare. Primal Seed. Even an Ultra, honestly. Self-Destruct Button. Grenmaju de Iza. Classic card. I bet this is worth a little bit. Tower of Babel, a classic Bible card. And here we go. Is this the final card? Sasuke Samurai number three. But we can't complain because we went one out of three on that blister, which is actually a great ratio for us. So that was still pretty awesome. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more epic content on my channel. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and then a Tai Show and JT Cho. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.